in Psalm chapter 10, the psalmist here talks of those who are wicked, those who would, in verse 4, say that there is no God. He said, these wicked men, are they, they boast of their own heart's desires. They're, they're greedy. They're arrogant. Verse 7 says that their mouths are full of curses and deceit and oppression. They prey on the innocent and the unfortunate. They're just full of wickedness. And they say that even if God does exist, verse 11, he's forgotten. Or he's hidden his face and he just won't see. There are a lot of times when it seems though God is hidden. It seems like God isn't there and the wicked prosper. But we can be assured that God is. He is omniscient. That is, he is all-knowing. He, he hasn't forgotten. He hasn't forgotten about us and he hasn't forgotten about the wicked in their ways. He is omnipresent. He is everywhere. He, he, does, he does see everything. He hears everything. He knows everything. He sees, he hears, he knows of, of our trials and our temptations and our struggles. But he also sees, hears, and knows of the ways of, of the wicked. And be sure that God is omnipotent. He is all-powerful. And the psalmist ends this psalm in verses 12 through 18 with the assurance that God is just and powerful to, to build up and tear down nations and, and to accomplish his will. The day of judgment's coming. And God is omnipresent. He is everywhere. He sees, knows, and hears everything. He is omniscient. And he is omnipotent and all-powerful.